Okay, so if you remember a little while back, probably around a month ago, I covered the Commodore Plus 4 and I was using Vice emulator. Uh, some people thought that was a good idea, others suggested trying a different emulator. So I've gone out my way to find a very cool emulator, which I've been testing, and it's simply awesome, it really is. This is Yape, and as always, links in the description. But before I start this tutorial, can I just remind you just to hit the notifications for me, just so you can get the videos as I upload them. And as some of you are aware, I upload pretty much daily nowadays. So just make sure to hit those notifications and that'll do my channel some greatness. So let's download Yape. So like I say, links in my description for this and we need to download this version here so native windows 32 and 64 as it says this is going to cover pretty much every windows operating system from xp to windows 10 and i'm pretty sure it'll work on operating systems previous to xp as well so uh, let's just download the zip of this and as always for neatness and to keep a tidy work environment to do this I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this one plus four so just drag out this zipped folder I've just downloaded and if we open this up as we can see we got lots of different contents inside of here so let's just drag and drop into the plus four folder I've just created and once you've done that we can now get rid of that website and close this down and we can also delete this zipped folder we just downloaded so let's head inside the plus four folder let's see what's there so you've got a couple of text documents and there's two x's uh, these are your programs these are what's going to open up the yape emulator uh, so if you're not running Windows 64, so if you don't have a 64-bit processor, then open Yape. But if you're like me and you've got a Windows 64 setup, then just go to Yape Win 64. And you might get this pop-up, that's just to prevent viruses or infections uh, getting on your system. So let's run this. Okay, so as you can see, this is a very nice default screen. We can get rid of this filter. If we just go to screen, we can do things with this, such as double scan. And if we go there again, CRT emulation, and this is gonna bring you back to a very, well, basic look. But personally, and I'm normally against filters, but I actually like the CRT emulation look. I think it looks really nice. And when I looked at this to begin with, I thought, yeah, this looks pretty damn good. I like this. So we got this set up. So we are going to need some games for this. Now, I'm going to show you how to load disc games and also cassette games. So let's head over to Commodore Plus 4 World. And this is a really good comprehensive website dedicated to Commodore Plus 4. So I'm going to download, firstly, a cassette game. So I'm going to leave the link in my description for this too. I'm going to just download Mad Rally. And of course, these are all freeware games built by the community for the community and as you can see I've got some options here where to download this from so I'm going to just go to plus four worlds and it's going to download in a number zip format so let's drag this out and one thing you should note with Yape is that it won't support zip files so you're going to need to extract these which is simply just another case of double left clicking and dragging the dot tap out onto your desktop for now uh, closing this window down and we're also going to delete this zip folder once again so as always and I always do this is I'm going to just make a new folder inside of my plus four folder and I'm going to just call this one games and that game I've just downloaded and dragged onto my desktop I'm going to drag that inside of that games folder so let's close this down and let's go and load up this game so to do this all you're going to do is just go to tape and from here just press attach tape and then we need to navigate to that plus four folder so here and if we go to the games which i've just created that folder here again and then double left click tap now to load cassette tapes dot taps on plus four all you're going to do is type in the commands load and then enter and then it will say press play on tape so from here, it's just a simple case of going back up the tape and pressing play. Voila. So 
So given that it's cassette tape, it's going to take a while. Obviously tapes are tapes and they are going to take some time. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to set this into full screen. Okay, so to make this into full screen, really simple for this, all we're going to do is press ALT and enter on the keyboards. And there you go, how cool is this? And there we go, so we're straight in, so as usual I've got my PlayStation 3 controller. And some of these games, they're going to require that you configure them. Uh, this one seems to be running fine. So let's press ALT and ENTER again to get back into window mode. To change ports of your controller, all you're going to do, so we go to settings and just simply click on swap joystick port. It's now not working, so obviously the port to use for this particular tap game is with the check. So try again, and there we go. So let's play this in full screen, so ALT and ENTER together. Cool, so let's all and enter to go back to the window mode. And from here, I'm going to just go to hard reset to reset the machine. And this time I'm going to show you how to load a disc game. And this is very simple too, it's not actually that hard. So we're going to head back over to the Commodore Plus 4 world again. And if we go to games, I'm going to look for a fairly recent release. I say recent, but in the last 10 years which is a game by Cytronic called Pet Rescue. So as you can see, this website contains loads of games. So actually, this one's 2018. So I'll we'll just click Pet Rescue. And again, if we just scroll down here and download this, our download source is gonna be Plus War World. And as we can see, this is a .d64 image. So let's left click on that. And again, what I'm going to do is drag this onto my desktop. And if I open this, I'm going to just drag this out onto my desktop, open my plus four folder and do what I did last time. I'm going to just drag that game, that disk file of Pets Rescue inside. And let's close these down. And let's actually show you how to get up and running with disk images. Okay, really simple to load up disk games on this end. So we've got our disk game Pets Rescue in that folder. Let's load this up. So from here, we just go to File. If we go to Auto Start Image, this will bring us back to our games folder that I've just created. Just double left click on Pets Rescue. And there we go. So we're searching for the program. And this should auto boot. And there we go, we're in. Excellent stuff. And you know what? This one is very, very impressive for a uh, plus four. The uh, the artwork. I mean, look at that. Let's put this in the full screen. Alt and enter. Okay, so my controller isn't working on this one. So what I'm going to do is Alt and Enter again. And I'm going to go to Settings and swap Joystick Port. And that's it. So this port is working fine. So let's go back into full screen, Alt and Enter again. And there we go. So this one's working perfectly. Let's actually disable the scan line. So if we Alt and Enter once again, if we go to Screen, and double scan. Let's just take those scan lines off. Let's try this. So, and let's just see what this looks like without that filter on to give it that old school monitor effect. So, if we go to CRT emulation, that's going to bring us back to normal modes. So, Pets Rescue. It reminds me of a certain game. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> but of course, just like uh, C64, which I cover a lot of, or the Amiga, uh, the Plus 4 world has got a considerable amount of modern games coming out for it. And of course, at the time, the Plus 4 was really set out to be a business machine, but it didn't quite take on. So, 
here we go, 2023 we're running modern games, which is awesome. So we all and enter to exit once again, and let's reset this machine. So if we go to machine here and press hard reset, I'm also going to show you how to load and save games. So let's boot up a disc game again. Okay, so I'm going to save it from just here, and then I'm going to let it load a little bit. So all I need to do is go to file. To save it, I'm going to just go down to emulator snapshot, and I'm going to save quick snapshot. So we saved that point just there, and as you can see at the bottom there, it says saved. So let's just play a little bit, and I'm going to go and load up the game save from where I've just saved it. Okay, so we're back to this part. So let's go back to load where I've just saved it from. So file, emulator snapshot, load quick snapshot, and there we go. It takes us back to that save point. So that's it for Yape, and it's a very good emulator. I'm really impressed with it myself, and I particularly like that monitor, that filter it's got, and some of the scan lines it's got on there as well. So I uh, just want to point out, thanks for people in the Commodore community for pointing out to me a little while back. Uh, there's other emulators for the Plus 4. Like I said, I've investigated it, and Yape is a very capable emulator, and I totally recommend it. So like I said, just hit notifications and stay retro.